Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for Capricorn. Okay, that really wanted to come out. So we have the Queen of Swords. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy. We have the, we have Ghosting. We have the Four of Wands. We have Cold as Ice. Clarify the Queen of Swords. We have the Seven of Pentacles. Clarify Ghosting. We have Lessons. Mm. Clarify Four of Wands. You guys can probably hear my baby out there. Happy. He's happy. All right, so we have Forbidden. Got his eyes. We have a date. What is this? <laughs> what a catch on the back of the deck. Ripped apart. Oh, Lord. Divinely guided. Uh, Knight of Wands. Judgment. Empress. Somebody's getting their karma. So the masculine is getting their karma for what they did to the divine feminine. This person could have left you out in the cold. They rejected you. Um, they made you feel alone. They ghosted you. Whatever they did, this person knew that they had feelings for you. They knew you were a catch. Um, you definitely were obviously divinely guided to one another. I think that this person knew this, but you were definitely dealing with a player or, or a very lustful person. A lust motivated person. Somebody was just trying to call me. Um, five of Pentacles. This person, yeah, they definitely ghosted you. Ooh, this person ghosts. So this is the type of person that will ghost you or they'll stop talking to you. Um, they never have the intention for the connection to like completely close out to be over or to be over. But it's like this person does this to play games or to kind of play with play on your emotions, play with your head. And they're getting some type of judgment here. Some type of karma here um, for their past actions. Yeah, they're receiving consequences for their actions here. Yeah, this person pulls back to try to maintain control or something like that. Yeah, they're very controlling. They pull back. They leave you on the cold. They ghost you. They ignore you as a means to try to play games or to try to, like, gain control. Or they do this out of insecurity for some of you. But it's like they never mean to, like, completely let go of you. But with the Queen of Swords here, I think you guys are kind of, like, uh, and looking at the bigger picture now. And, um... You feel like you need to set boundaries. Some of you guys are thinking about the long term and you just kind of maybe don't see. It's like you're reevaluating something here. I feel like you guys have like, they've ghosted you or ignored you one too many times. So like you definitely have learned something and you're definitely in this energy where I feel like you're going to apply what you've learned to dealing with this person going forward. Okay. Um, I do feel like Spirit is saying that you and this person do need to be apart for right now. So it's necessary for you and this person. If this is, obviously this is a twin flame reading. Um, it's necessary right now for you and this person to go into the separation phase because um, there are still lessons that need to be learned here. Growth, four of wands, the forbidden. See, something's like, for some of you, you're dealing with somebody that's already married or involved. With, like they're married or they're already in some type of commitment or they're living with somebody um, and that's why this is kind of forbidden right now. Or, you know, this is, my baby just keeps coughing. Um, for some of you, their family doesn't like you or doesn't approve of this connection for whatever reason, the two of you coming together and being committed to one another. But this person is going to want to spend some type of, some type of, um, they're going to want to spend some time with you. Giving you mixed signals and consider, yeah. It's like sometimes they want to be with you and sometimes they don't. But I do feel like they're going to want to, they're in that, they're about to be in that energy where they do want to see you and they do want to spend time with you. Um, what else do they need to know about this? 
Nine of Cups, okay. Wish is coming true. Okay, we have Page of Pentacles and Rejection. Ooh. So some of you guys have been hoping to be able to get back at this person. I ain't gonna even front or lie. Uh, I feel like some of you guys have been hoping that this person reaches out to you so that you can re reject them. You guys feel like this person needs to be, is their ego is too big. Yeah, you feel like this person has a big ego. Ooh, you want to do to this person what they've done to you. This is what you guys have been hoping and wishing for. You're like, I'm just waiting for them to message me so that I can ignore them. I'm not saying you guys are trying to play games with this person, but I feel like actually this is what they need. Tell me more. Yep, it's time. Spirit says it's time that you start treating them how they treat you. And, you know, you don't have to be, like, malicious or really be mean to, you know, go out of your way to do this. But it's just that they approach you. You got to give them, you know, you got to kind of match their energy or you got to know. Unfortunately, this is the kind of person you got to play chess with. You got to be strategic with them. It's time. Yeah, divine intervention. No more running. Yeah. If I feel like spirit says it's time, it's like time for something to happen here. Like some for time for something to change. Like it's time for you to start handling this person and the situation differently. And your spirit says it, like that you and this person, maybe it's like you need to kind of like pull back your energy. You need to not accept this, whatever their offer. I don't even want to call it an offer. What about the lovers? dark night of the soul yeah they need to go through this dark night of the soul they need to feel the disconnection here because when every time like this person has kind of like how do i explain this even though you may feel like the two of you haven't broken up and that you guys haven't been together i told you in their eyes even if you guys are you stop talking for a while they ghost you you guys separate for a little bit it's never over for them like they still think that you the two of you are, are together but and it's because every time they come back, you let them come back. Like you don't reject them. You 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 let them come back to some degree. You you do entertain them. You do answer them, whatever. So there's something about them coming in and you got them not getting a response or them not getting any like action. You know, you not taking any action um, towards them. Yeah, it's, they need to feel. Spirit says they need to go through this dark night of the soul. They need to feel this disconnection. They need to feel. Like, yeah, justice, exactly. Spirit is, um, I know that this is going to sound crazy, guys, but Spirit is saying this is what this person deserves. It's time for this person to, you know, have the consequence of their actions. They've treated you like this for too long. I do, I, every time, pretty much every reading I do, guys, I say love and light. You know, I wish you guys love and light, which I do. But I'm not a totally love and light type person, okay? Like, you know... Some people don't deserve your light and some people don't deserve your love sometimes, okay? And you need to know who to give your love and your light to and who to to give the go fuck yourself to, right? So <laughs> you guys in that quote says, I'm a little bit of love, I'm, I'm loving a light and a little go fuck yourself. Well, this person deserves the go fuck yourself um, right now. All right, you can still love them and, you know, hope that they get their shit together and hope that they you know things turn around for them but when it comes to them trying to come in and play you intentionally come in and play you spirit says they deserve this this is justice being served they deserve to be ignored by you they exert they deserve to be rejected by you because that's all they've been ignoring you ghosting you rejecting you and being very strategic about it they have known exactly what they were doing so spirit is saying you need to give this person a taste of their own medicine and this is actually going to send them into the dark night of the soul. All right. Yeah, justice, soul, cons. Yeah. Val that's true. says that's what's going to restore balance. Yep. People get that twisted. Like, oh, I just got to be all love and light. No. Sometimes, you know, people, you got to put your foot down. You got to stick up for yourself. Sometimes people deserve to be treated the way they've been treated. And sometimes that's karmic justice. Okay. And in this case... That's what spirit is saying needs to happen here. So think about the king of wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, energy. So this person, this fire sign, whoever this is, or it doesn't have to be a fire sign, but it's this, this lustful person. For some of you, this person wanted their cake and eat it too. This person's about to be heartbroken. They could have, they, I feel like for some of you, they put you in a third party situation. Time of the three of swords. Yeah, six of wands. Yeah, pride pull. Mm-hmm, undecided. Yep. Queen of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, energy, the star. You were their wish fulfillment too, but they just decided to ma not make a decision about you out of pride and out of ego and out of wanting attention from multiple people. It looks like here. Tell me more. Yeah, tower. 
Yep. What is the tower? King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy. What about the Tower and the King of Pentacles, the Six of Cups? This person's kind of, somebody's returning out of the blue here. And then what? Awakening. What about Awakening? Oh, Spirit says that, oh, you know what's happening? Yeah, of course. What about the Five of Pentacles? The Knight of Wands. It's like after you leave this person out in the cold, out in the cold, you know, or ignore them, whatever, you stay withdrawn from them, you don't speak to them. They're about to start going through an Awakening. Like through their heart, they're gonna be heartbroken. They're gonna be sad that they got ignored or that they got a taste of their own medicine. But this is what they need right now. Spirit is saying. But at some time, sometime in the future, this is it's still not over between you and this person. I'm, you know, I, I hate to. I know some of you guys are like, damn, like I wish. But this is a twin flame reading. Twin flames are never 100 percent over. Like you may even go some twin flames even go off and marry other people and whatever. But that connection will always still be there. All right, so. I do feel like this person's going to go through the dark night of the soul and then at some random point in the future they're going to come back towards you but the only difference the difference will be that they're actually coming back towards you in a different energy. All right. All right guys, give me one second. <laughs> Let's get more clarity on this. What's going on here? Let's use this deck. Sorry, guys, I had to have my coffee. <laughs> um, so we have radiant sun here. Optimism and fulfillment, success and enthusiasm. What about that? What about radiant sun? We have photographs. Oh, the past returns, of course. So what happens here with this person is that when you start to feel confident again, it's because you're pulling back your energy from this person. You're dealing with an energy vampire. It's like dealing with you is like an ego boost to this person because they do view you as a catch. We had that what a catch card earlier. And they start like that really that that's like you're like a fuel to this person. Like when you give them attention or when you chase them or when you let them come back, that's a fuel to them. Right. And then they get their refill or they get their ego boost, their confidence boost because they're leeching off of you. And then when they leave you. They take from you and then they leave you. They took all that. They took from you. You know what I mean? They took that good energy from you. But now you're starting to pull back your their, your energy. You're starting to be confident and be successful again and happy and optimistic and fulfilled. Guess what's happening to them? You're pulling back your energy from them. So things are starting to go to shit for them again. Now here they come. Here they come in return. So if you guys always wonder what made this person come back to you, it's because they ran out of your energy. Tell me more. Yeah, the roll the dice. So, Miss Winter, stuck, stagnation, delays, and setbacks. Um, what's this have to do with my collective? Bless union, okay. And we have the world completion. So you have a, a you have a union coming in, guys. But you know what Spirit is saying? That's getting what's manifesting this union for you in rewards. Like you're, you're, you may, you guys have maybe felt like you've been going through it. Okay. You feel like you've been through a lot, but Spirit says that era is coming to an end and now you're about to be rewarded, but it's because you're taking some type of risk here and it's like, you're going cold on this person with this Miss Winter. Yeah. It's like, you're not, well, tell me more about Miss Winter. You guys may feel like this is, yeah, superficial relationship. What about the cost of vanity? What about cost of vanity? Temptation. What's this have to do with my collective though? Carelessness. Yeah, you're good. This person's coming in. 
there you're some of you are dealing with a narcissist okay um this person's trying to come in and have this superficial relationship with you again they're wanting sex okay i'm just to be honest they're wanting sex from you you guys may be tempted to go back into this but spirit is saying that if you fall into temptation you will not be playing your cards right and spirit says you need to like approach this person with like a whatever type attitude and not give this person too much of your energy definitely don't see them or sleep with them like that's what they're saying here that is that would be you not playing again chess with this person so yeah they're gonna start feeling like they lose lost control over you Play more yep the grim they're gonna start feeling like you know it's done yeah clearing away the old cutting something off or someone off and what's that mean for this person yep deeply missing you trying okay they may even try to move on from you but they're not yeah, you know, reluctance to make. What about lazy, da lazy Daisy? Perfect match. What is Miss? It's like this. It's this person's own fault because they knew that you guys could have been great together, but they procrastinated this. Why did they do this? Or you're going to be re very reluctant to put any effort into this person, and they're going to be very. What is drinking to forget? They may use some type of sus substance to uh, numb themselves. Yep. Desperately looking for true love, a big heart. What's this mean for this person? Communication, okay. Bottled up. So somebody wants to tell you something that they've been holding back, not telling you. Voodoo doll. Yep, I'm telling you, this person purposely holds back to, from you as a means of manipulation to maintain control. All right, so what are they, are they going to say something? Are they going to open up? No, this, yeah, wasting time, not worth waiting for, prolonging the inevitable. This person feels like one day the two of you are going to end up together, but they're prolonging the inevitable or prolonging what they already feel is going to end up happening. Why? Oh, well, they're about to have an epiphany. What is this epiphany? Why are they having this epiphany? Deep wisdom. Yeah, they're about to, yeah, read between the lines, be wise and pay attention. You can see the truth clearly. So what is that leading to? Yeah, fantasizing, wishful thinking, escapism. Somebody's been trying not to face the reality of a situation. What's this mean for my collective, though? The Traveler. Heavy burden. Carrying old baggage. See? A loyal companion, okay. Sleepless nights. Hardly calm storm. What are they seeing the truth about here? It's like this person's starting to realize that like you're really done with them, like that the two of you be uh, the you the two of you being a thing thing is in the is history now. It's in the past. What about commitment and bride? The study room, okay. Light in the way. Yeah, you're set. Yeah, you're setting boundaries. And now what? Yeah, taking a break, setting boundaries. Now somebody feels like they want to fight for you. Yep, but this person. Is not ready to set. Okay, so what's this new refreshing energy though? Okay. What about the Proud Rebel? Lady Venus. You you guys are going to be doing something that you don't usually do. I feel like you guys are usually very, um, what was that card? What was the card that was on the back? Of, I don't see it anymore. But you guys are usually very um, devoid, devoted and loyal to this person um the type that likes to settle down and be with just one person but some of you guys are gonna be like you know what actually i don't think i'm ready to be in a relationship or i don't really think i'm ready to settle down with you i think i want to keep my options open and they're not going to be used to this energy this person is going to be watching you going out with your friends they may even want you going out on dates like this person is going to be a little bit shook by this, guys. I'm going to just be honest with you. Yeah, unfaithful, love triangle, betrayal of trust. Yep. But they they put you in a love triangle. Yep. They need, they, it's, it's okay for you guys to not want to put all your eggs in this person's basket because they're not putting all their eggs in your basket. This person is wanting you to just be all about them while they have third parties or a third party. And I feel like at some point you guys did that, but some of you guys may not have even known they had a third party for sure. Some of you guys maybe did know, but they want you to be all about them while they're all about everybody else. And I feel like when they come towards you, 
they're telling you to be like you need to with unfortunately this is the kind of person you gotta like not give them too much that's how it is with narcissists okay guys i don't know if you heard of the term gray rocking but look it up if you're dealing with a narcissist you have to not give them that much emotion or a reaction or attention you got to just act like very nonchalant with them because anything else feeds them okay so it's gonna send this person over the edge they're not gonna be used to you being in this energy at all like they're like you guys are in a new energy and i feel like how do they feel about this new energy that the collective is going to be in how do they feel about this new energy <laughs> yep you choose it you're going to choose to stay what about lone wolf taking it see you're going to be like nah i think i'm better off like i think i want to keep my options open and then now it says taking action for it movement willingness to do the work taking control of the situation <laughs> tell me more about what they're going to do Sacred Emerald. Yep, Divine Love, Receiving Abundance. Oh, it's, are they having a heart chakra activation now? Time or Fanned out. Yeah, now they want to be vulnerable. And now they want to, yeah, no limits or restrictions available. If they did have other another person, yep, now they want to devote themselves to you. Yeah, forever yours. Unbreakable bond, strong and stable relationship. A love that will last a lifetime. But we have unhealthy choices on the back of the deck. Yeah, be careful who you let in. You just need to be careful about... If you're the energy that this person is coming towards you in, if you're letting them into your life or not with that energy, yeah, let go of the old honor the cycle you're in. What goes around comes around. I'm telling you, heavy on the what goes around comes around. Karma, this person is about to get a taste of their own medicine. Like, that's probably what I'm going to name this reading. Um, and they're not going to like it, okay? But this is how they've been treating you, they've been treating you like they don't care. Um, like they want to keep their options open, like they don't want to settle down, they want to be single. Um, this connection isn't that important to them, it's not special. So, but when you start acting like that, treating the connection in that way, unfortunately, this person was feeding off of you thinking the connection was special and that they were special, and <sighs> you wanting them and desiring them, and trying to make this work and all those things but yeah yeah <laughs> they're gonna be very triggered people in places remind them of you panic feel overwhelmed cry act out withdrawn they're gonna flip out for some of you once you do once you're in this energy they're gonna lose their shit yep strong uncomfortable emotional reaction to something that wouldn't ordinarily cause that response <laughs> yep <laughs> like they're gonna not like you being nonchalant we have naughty thoughts yeah this person wants you sexually sexually fantasizing about too strong need to be physically near undeniable sexual desires driven by in instinct spirit is saying you better not we have <laughs> they're gonna be going through it guys inner turmoil doubting and questioning decisions fight between the mind and the heart feeling worried conflicted agitated and ha and happy with life's choices give me a few more magical muse and we have, yep, cycles. This is when you've been through it over and over and over again with, yeah, Magical Muse, which says a great source of artistic inspiration and beyond a lover, a friendly infatuation, or maybe a stranger that no one ever even speaks to. Clarify Magical Muse, though. Destiny, yep. You definitely have been, came into this person's life to trigger change or inspire them to, you know, maybe get their life together. And maybe they did the same thing for you, but... It says, we keep replaying the same story over and over again, and it never ends well. When are we going to do better so it can be better? I feel like this is you guys. It says, um, I'm understanding our relationship and our connection. What I once thought was trivial was something more on a higher level of consciousness. I couldn't understand it then, but I do now. And we have Aquarius on the back of the deck. It says, I acted like I didn't care, but I did. I just needed my time and space to think on my own. I didn't want to be tied down by a relationship because I wasn't ready to put in the work. All right, well, now you guys are kind of like, yes, we do have this cosmic love. We do have this twin flame connection. But I think I'm going to choose to be single now. Or I'm not going to just fully commit to you. You haven't been committing to me. You got to show me that you're worth committing to. You're pretty much treating... This person had every... like They had no reason to treat you like this, and they did. And they're going to regret how they did treat you. But they treated you like this because they, they struggle with self-worth and not feeling good enough for you. So they resort to playing games and manipulation. They like to feel like they're in control because they really feel out of control in a lot of aspects of their life. All right, they feel in con out of control because they don't feel good enough for you. They feel like you're doing better than them, things like that. So we have things like that. So we have.